Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, September 22nd, 2022. Let's find out what are the most important events today. The Forex calendar shows us that we have a Swiss National Bank interest rate decision and monetary policy assessment at 9.30. The Swiss National Bank is expected to hike the interest rate from minus uh, 0.25% to 0.50. So this is a very huge step because they are going from negative interest rates, which means that the, the, in theory, uh, the, the money that you have on a bank account uh, are, being, uh, are, are working on it on its own. So the bank, basically banks pays you uh, for having uh, money on the bank account to the positive rates, which means is, uh, is of course, <laughs> completely opposite, 0.5%. If the S&B uh, um, hikes the interest rates, uh, ECB might hike even more, just like Fed did yesterday that delivered 75 basic points interest rate hike to 3.25 so snb interest rate decision monetary policy assessment 9 30 press conference 10 o'clock um, there is of course another interest rate decision uh, here this one is from turkey um one week repo rate uh, and overnight borrowing rate um decisions are scheduled uh, for release at 1 p.m. The one week repo rate should stay at the level of 13%. At the same time, we have Bank of England interest rate decision and of course, MPC meeting minutes. Uh, this time, um, the situation is uh, uh, again, similar to the, the one uh, um, like a couple of months before. Bank of England is expected to hike the interest rate from 1.75% to 2.25%. So that's a 50 basic points. If there is bigger hike than 50 basic points, like 75 basic points or 100 basic points, British pound will sink like no tomorrow. During the uh, New York session, we got only one very important event, which is the initial jobless claims from the US scheduled for release at half past two. So free interest rate decision today, very, very busy day. Plenty of things can happen. So please stay vigilant, stay focused to see what is going on uh, on the uh, financial markets. We will definitely take a look at the Swiss franc we will definitely take a look at the British pound today, but let's start with the euro dollar and the decision on the uh, Fed interest rate hike. The technical picture of the um, uh, euro dollar four hour chart looks very bearish. After the decision, uh, the market moved lower. Let me just uh, zoom in. The market moved towards the level of uh, 9,810, which is almost 200 pips away from the parity level. Parity level is you know, the big, thick black line on my chart. Uh, we are definitely below the 30 periods moving average. However, the market hit the extremely oversold conditions on the uh, four hour chart. So we need some kind of a breakout. So we will just remove the um, we'll just remove the Fibonacci from the from the chart. We will put our temporary uh, the support at 9810. This is, of course, the lower low. And this is the technical resistance 9867 pips. This is the technical resistance. Other one, 9901. Another technical resistance. Uh, one more, 9934, which is the uh, uh, low from the 8th of the September and 9945. The low of the consolidation zone here is technical resistance as well. So this zone had been violated already. So I will move our supply zone, key supply zone towards uh, higher levels. 1.0254, 1.0293 are the 
levers that consist the supply zone the key supply zone on a four hour chart on the euro to the dollar so this is the situation okay that's fine and uh where is the next target for the uh, for the euro dollar where well, it's far 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 below the current uh, current levels because we have not seen this levels on the euro dollar in many many years so it's kind of a hard to say uh however it's it's way way lower than it is right now so without any uh nice bounce here we cannot say uh, that the market of the euro dollar is in the uh let's say it's in the pullback or correct correction right we got very interesting technical situation i've just noticed that there is a b and c pattern this is market geometry pattern consisting with the same length of the uh, wave a measured from the top of the wave b so this this distance and this distance are the same as you can see 100 percent so slightly technical market we will see if this is enough for this market to bounce higher uh, towards the technical resistance and break them of course so let's find out what's going on on the british pound because of the interest rate decision and the british pound is going down a recent low was made at the level of 1.1211 into the extremely oversold market conditions however on the four hour chart there is no there is no um uh, bullish divergence yet we are back below this trend line let me just switch to the uh, daily time frame chart for you to see okay we can't <laughs> we can't see much however let me just zoom in maybe that would be better there you go uh, and we are below this this trend line here uh, now we can we can remove it because that's the old trend line we don't need it anymore and as you can see we are below the level of 1.1410 which is the key uh, technical support this is the key technical support let me just find out there you go you got this low here this is the pandemic low okay broken pandemic low is broken and we are going lower if we switch back to the four hour and just uh, focus on the recent price developing we, you can see it clearly that the bears are in charge of this market they won't give up there is no sign of the downtrend termination so right now this level is red which means is of course technical resistance the other technical resistance for the bulls is 1.1351 uh, and the local one i found uh, local technical resistance is located at 1.1304 so down we go on the british pound if there is a hike bigger than 50 basic points british pound will sink sink even lower okay so please consider this situation as an extremely violate on the british pound uh, during the uh, interest rate decision uh, please remember today one o'clock p.m uh what is going on on the swiss franc then the swiss franc is moving up the swiss franc is definitely moving up this is four hour chart so we will possibly uh, fly towards 9858 uh, pips 9885 pips this is the high of the of the recent uh uh, recent market swing but this market as you can see is not that uh, much in any trend it's not that much uh, uh, like uh, uh, susceptible for any downtrend or uptrend well to today of course we, 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 we've been have hovering around that uh, 30 day moving average and today we are uh, moving higher the level of 9481 is very nice technical support as you can see bullish engulfing pattern here the key level to the upside is still 9858 9885 so please please keep an eye on this on this uh, situation uh, situation here so we can of course um uh, consider these levels these two levels as the key technical levels for the for the market so this is the first level this is the second level uh, this is the first test this is the second test key test uh, key levels for the test uh, are still 
uh, present on our screens uh, for now we got like uh, from high to low there is around 150 pips already done so pretty pretty nice move on the US dollar to the Swiss franc let's find out what is going on on the Turkish lira that's very interesting so this is something completely new uh, for us we got uh, of course a daily time frame chart back to uh, uh, 22 and as you can see this is a massive massive uptrend let me switch to the weekly uh, chart and you can see that all of this big in, that was possibly intervention from the uh, Turkish Central Bank in 2021 didn't actually work the market went from 10 to 18.35 so this is very very important level 18 point 55. let me just make it thick as a brick there you go we are just just below this level and please consider the situation when the uh, central bank of turkey intervene again on the uh, forex market this might be very very big down candle uh, again showing on our on our charts because this is exactly this is exactly the same the same level that that it was in 2021 will the central bank of turkey intervene we will see we'll find out uh, very very soon uh, because it looks like that levels are unacceptable uh, unacceptable for the for the uh, 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 british uh, <laughs> turkish central bank bitcoin this is what i want to show you guys at the at the end of our uh, of our review for our chart of the bitcoin is apparently not reacting that much on the news from the fed we made a local high uh 19,840 we make local low uh, 18,142 just a barely uh, just uh, 100 dollars below the last low and we are now slowly bouncing towards the level of uh, technical resistance at 18,926 so not that much uh, um, activity on the bitcoin however new high new marginal swing high was was made uh, during the uh, fed interest rate decision uh, yesterday uh, what we should do stay vigilant and keep focusing on the main trend and the main trend on the uh, um, bitcoin is still down uh, as you can see bulls are having uh, i mean bears are having problem with this area between 18640 and the recent lows at 80240 so this is like a 400 dollars zone where this uh, market is being bought back up however please notice the fact that momentum indicator shows us that the bears are still in charge in this market at least on the four hour chart however uh, of course the bounce is still is still possible nevertheless the any bounce will be treated as the corrective bounce during the downtrend so please remember that as well that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye